Airbus, a comprehensive overview. Airbus is one of the largest and most influential aerospace manufacturers globally, with a diverse range of products and services spanning commercial aircraft, defense, and space systems. From its inception to its current status as a powerhouse in the aviation industry, Airbus's journey has been marked by innovation, competition, and the ability to navigate complex challenges. In this comprehensive piece, we will explore the history of Airbus, its product lineup, and recent news and challenges it faces. Founding in Early Years Airbus was established in 1970 as a consortium of aerospace manufacturers from different European nations. The idea of creating a collaborative European aerospace company was initially proposed to counterbalance the dominance of American manufacturers like Boeing, Lockheed, and McDonnell Douglas. European countries realized that individually, their aerospace companies lacked the scale and financial capacity to compete with American giants, but collectively, they could create a formidable player in the industry. The founding partners of Airbus were Aerospatial, France, Deutsche Airbus, Germany, CASA, Spain, and Hawker Siddeley, UK. In the early days, the company operated as a loose consortium rather than a unified corporate entity. This arrangement allowed for the sharing of costs and risks while maintaining national pride in contributing to the development of modern aviation. The launch of the A300. Airbus's first major project was the A300, the world's first twin-engine, wide-body commercial aircraft. It was designed to serve medium-haul routes with a seating capacity of around 250 passengers. Launched in 1974, the A300 marked Airbus's first significant step in establishing itself as a credible competitor to American aircraft manufacturers. The A300 was technologically advanced for its time, offering better fuel efficiency and operational cost advantages over many competing aircraft. However, convincing airlines to switch from established American brands to a new European manufacturer proved challenging. The initial sales were slow, but Airbus's persistence and the ability of the A300 to deliver on its promises gradually won over customers, including some of the largest airlines in the world. The creation of a fully integrated Airbus In 2001, Airbus underwent a major structural transformation. The various national stakeholders in the consortium agreed to merge their operations into a single entity, forming Airbus SAS. This unification allowed the company to streamline its operations, make faster decisions, and present a more cohesive brand to the world. EADs, now known as Airbus Group, became the parent company consolidating several European aerospace interests under one umbrella. This new structure enabled Airbus to accelerate the development of new products, expand its market share, and compete more effectively with Boeing, which had long held a dominant position in the global commercial aircraft market. Airbus Products Over the years, Airbus has developed a wide range of products that cater to various segments of the aviation market. From single-aisle aircraft to long-haul wide-body jets, Airbus has consistently pushed the envelope in terms of technology, efficiency, and passenger comfort. Single-aisle aircraft One of Airbus's most successful product lines is the A320 family of single-aisle aircraft. The A320 was first launched in 1988 and quickly became popular among airlines due to its fuel efficiency, flexibility, and lower operating costs. The A320 family includes several variants such as the A318, A319, A320, and A321, each offering different capacities and ranges to suit various airline needs. The A320 family has been continuously updated and modernized, with the latest version, the A320neo, new engine option, offering even greater fuel efficiency and lower emissions. The A320neo has become a bestseller, particularly as airlines seek to reduce their carbon footprint and operating costs in an increasingly environmentally conscious world. Wide-body aircraft. 
Airbus has also developed a range of wide-body aircraft designed for long-haul international routes. The A330, first introduced in the 1990s, is one of Airbus's most successful wide-body jets, offering seating capacities between 250 and 300 passengers. It competes directly with Boeing's 767 and 777 models. The A350, launched in 2013, represents Airbus's response to Boeing's highly successful 787 Dreamliner. The A350 is a long-range, twin-engine aircraft made primarily of lightweight composite materials, which help reduce fuel consumption and maintenance costs. The A350 is known for its high levels of passenger comfort, including wider seats, larger windows, and a quieter cabin compared to older aircraft. The A380, the double-decker giant. Perhaps Airbus's most iconic aircraft is the A380, the world's largest passenger airliner. With the capacity to carry up to 850 passengers in an all-economy configuration, the A380 was designed to address the growing demand for air travel and the increasing congestion at major airports. The A380 made its first flight in 2005 and entered commercial service in 2007. While it was initially hailed as a revolutionary aircraft, its commercial success has been limited. Many airlines have found the aircraft too large for their routes, and the rise of more fuel-efficient twin-engine jets has reduced the demand for the A380. As a result, Airbus decided to end production of the A380 in 2021 after delivering the final aircraft to Emirates, its largest customer. Military and Defense Products Airbus is also a major player in the defense and aerospace sector. One of its most notable products in this area is the A400M Atlas, a military transport aircraft designed for strategic and tactical missions. The A400M can carry heavy cargo and personnel over long distances making it ideal for humanitarian missions, disaster relief, and military operations. In addition to the A400M, Airbus Defense and Space, a division of Airbus, produces a range of satellite systems, space launch vehicles, and defense-related technologies. The company is heavily involved in the European Space Agency's ESA programs and has played a crucial role in several space exploration missions. Airbus and Sustainability one of the most pressing issues facing the aerospace industry is the need to reduce carbon emissions and become more environmentally sustainable. Airbus has been at the forefront of efforts to develop more fuel-efficient aircraft and explore new technologies that can help decarbonize the aviation industry. In September 2020, Airbus announced its ambitious Zero-E initiative which aims to develop the world's first zero-emission commercial aircraft by 2035. Airbus is exploring several potential technologies to achieve this goal, including hydrogen-powered aircraft. Hydrogen is seen as a promising alternative to traditional jet fuel because it produces no carbon emissions when burned. The company has already unveiled three concept aircraft under the Zero-E banner, a turbofan design, a turboprop design, and a blended wing body design. Each of these aircraft would rely on hydrogen as a primary power source, potentially revolutionizing the future of aviation. Impact of the COVID-19 Pandemic The COVID-19 pandemic had a profound impact on the global aviation industry, and Airbus was no exception. As air travel demand plummeted in 2020, Airlines around the world canceled or delayed orders for new aircraft. Airbus was forced to scale back production and implement cost-cutting measures to weather the crisis. Despite the challenges, Airbus remained relatively resilient compared to some of its competitors. The company continued to deliver aircraft throughout the pandemic, although at a reduced rate. In 2021, Airbus reported a strong recovery in its financial performance, with deliveries increasing as airlines began to recover and resume normal operations. Competition with Boeing 
Airbus's rivalry with Boeing is one of the most well-known and long-standing in the aerospace industry. The two companies have been competing for dominance in the commercial aircraft market for decades, with each introducing new products and technologies to outpace the other. In recent years, Airbus has gained significant ground on Boeing, particularly in the narrow-body aircraft segment. The A320neo has outsold Boeing's 737 MAX, partly due to the MAX's prolonged grounding following two fatal crashes in 2018 and 2019. The grounding of the 737 MAX allowed Airbus to capture a larger share of the narrow-body market, further solidifying its position as a key player in global aviation. Supply Chain Disruptions One of the significant challenges Airbus has faced in recent years is supply chain disruptions, particularly in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic. The global aerospace supply chain is highly complex, with numerous suppliers contributing to the production of a single aircraft. Any disruptions in this chain can have a ripple effect on production schedules and delivery timelines. For example, the shortage of raw materials, such as aluminum and titanium, has affected Airbus's ability to manufacture aircraft components. Additionally, disruptions in the availability of electronic components and semiconductors have also posed challenges, particularly for the production of avionics systems. Airbus has been working closely with its suppliers to mitigate these disruptions and ensure a steady flow of materials and components. However, the ongoing global supply chain crisis remains a significant concern for the company, and it may take time for the situation to fully stabilize. Geopolitical tensions. As a global company with operations and customers in many different countries, Airbus is exposed to the risks associated with geopolitical tensions. Trade disputes, sanctions, and changes in government policies can all have a direct impact on the company's business. For instance, Airbus has faced challenges in recent years due to trade tensions between the European Union and the United States. In 2019, the World Trade Organization WTO ruled that both Airbus and Boeing had received illegal subsidies from their respective governments, leading to a series of retaliatory tariffs. Although a truce was reached in 2021, the dispute highlighted the vulnerability of the aerospace industry to geopolitical conflicts. Airbus is also affected by the ongoing tensions between the West and China. As China continues to develop its own domestic aerospace industry, Airbus may face increasing competition in the Chinese market, which has historically been a key growth area for the company. Environmental Regulations As the aviation industry faces increasing pressure to reduce its environmental impact, Airbus is grappling with the challenge of complying with stricter emissions regulations while remaining competitive. The European Union and other regulatory bodies are pushing for more aggressive action to reduce carbon emissions, which could result in new rules that impose higher costs on airlines and aircraft manufacturers. In response to these challenges, Airbus is investing heavily in research and development R&D, to create more fuel-efficient and environmentally friendly aircraft. The company's Zero Initiative, which focuses on developing hydrogen-powered aircraft, is one example of its commitment to sustainability. However, the success of these efforts will depend on technological advancements, regulatory support, and the willingness of airlines to adopt new, greener aircraft. Technological Innovation and Competition While Airbus is a leader in aviation technology, the pace of technological innovation in the aerospace industry is accelerating. New players, such as electric aircraft startups and space exploration companies, are entering the market, bringing with them fresh ideas and disruptive technologies. For example, electric and hybrid electric aircraft are gaining traction as potential solutions for reducing the carbon footprint of air travel, especially for short-haul flights. Airbus itself is exploring electric propulsion technologies but it faces stiff competition from startups and established companies that are also investing in this space. 
Moreover, the rise of commercial space exploration and satellite services presents both opportunities and challenges for Airbus. While the company's Defense and Space Division is well positioned to benefit from the growing demand for space-related technologies, it also faces competition from private companies like SpaceX, which have significantly lowered the cost of access to space. Conclusion Airbus has come a long way since its inception in 1970, evolving from a European consortium into a global aerospace leader. With a wide range of products, from single-aisle jets to military transport aircraft, Airbus continues to shape the future of aviation. However, the company faces several significant challenges, including supply chain disruptions, geopolitical tensions, environmental regulations, and competition from new entrants in the industry. Despite these challenges, Airbus remains committed to innovation, sustainability, and maintaining its competitive edge in the ever-evolving aerospace sector. Through initiatives like the development of hydrogen-powered aircraft and its continued focus on creating more fuel-efficient planes, Airbus aims to play a leading role in the aviation industry's transformation toward a more sustainable and technologically advanced future.